Good morning, children. And I hope you are fine and doing good. And uh, I hope you are obeying, obeying your parents also during this uh, lockdown and equally obeying all the rules and regulation set by our Prime Minister. I hope you are doing good. Uh, without further wasting your time, my name is Mr. Abel Jacob. I will be teaching you maths. Uh, this is the book which has been prescribed by the ICC board. So I'll be teaching you from this book. It's written as a precise mathematics part three, and this is from the Selina publication. So let's come back to the teaching. As you first be waiting eagerly, when would your classes start? When would be going back to your school? So even we as teachers from Bishop Asgore Boys School, they have also tried to come back to the teaching classes. So this is the interview, interview from the faculty of the Bishop Asgore Boys School to bring the teaching to your rooms since all the classes and the schools are locked down. Uh, till now, this is the content of the book. The content shows these are the chapters which is there prescribed in your mathematics syllabus for this class 3, the standard 3. Uh, revision is 1, chapter 2 is numbers, chapter 4 addition and so forth and so on. Uh, so in this, uh, for today's uh, teaching, uh, we, have, we would be uh, skipping chapter 1, that is the revision, because as you know, as it states, it's the revision what you have already done in class uh, 2. Uh, so uh, these are the contents of the revision where the numbers are given and you have to write the number names for the numbers given and uh, in class 2 you will have done uh, two digit numbers and uh, you have done the tens to it and you have done the hundreds of the number but in class 3 we will be doing from 1000 to 10,000 uh, that is what is in the class 3 syllabus so I repeat, what you have done in class 2 are from 10s to 100s. That is from the 2 digit number and the 3 digit number. But here in class uh, 3, we will be doing from 3 digit number to the 4 digit numbers. So as, it's, as it is, so revision part I skip. You can go through the uh, uh, exercise in it. Exercise A, exercise B. This you have to do it on your own since uh, you have already been taught how to do these uh, exercises. So you can be in the house, you can sit and you can ask your parents to help you or your tutors if he is coming uh, to finish this work on your own. So skipping this chapter, skipping is how I am going to skip it here. As in I won't be teaching but you don't have to skip. You have to do it at home. So here we come to chapter 2 and page number 11. So let's see what we have already done. There's again a some small part of revision to be done in this particular chapter. So we have done, we know that uh, numbers from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, <coughs> they are known as one digit number. One digit number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Like you notice these are one digit number. So they are known as one digit number. Alright. And then what do we learn here? What do we know from here? We know <coughs> that 0 is the smallest one digit number. You might be wondering why 0? Why not 1? No. It is 0 which is the lowest and the smallest one digit number. We cannot, we cannot skip zero. And if you know or it's another general knowledge question, zero, the world did not know the concept of zero. It is we Indian who have invented or who have given the world this zero. And zero as you know of course, it doesn't have any value of itself. But zero, <coughs> when added to another digit, makes it more. Suppose one is there, one value is not one, but if I put a zero which has no value itself, but when I go add a zero to a number, the value from one increases <coughs> tenfold and it becomes ten. Alright? Similarly, if 
If it is 100, then if I add 1 more zero to it, from 10, it became, <coughs> sorry, from 10, it, from 10, it becomes uh, 100. Anyway, we do this later. This was just something for your knowledge. And then the smallest two digit number is 10. Smallest two digit number is 10. And the biggest two digit number is 99. So, 10 is the smallest
and then 0 here and then 1 there. So what we have here? Smallest 4 degree graph. Okay? This is there. And it is this number is read as 1000. How do we read this number as? 1000. 1000. A 1000 or 1000 we can denote. We can also write it as K. The big English alphabet K. K means thousand. K means kilo. And a kilo is 1000. Okay? This we will discuss later. Okay? Now, the, similarly, the highest two digit number and three digit numbers are obtained by subtracting one from the smallest three digit number and four digit numbers respectively. In other words, what do we have here? Suppose I have a number which is the smallest three digit number. This is the smallest three digit number. And I go smallest three digit number. And I go minus one from it or subtract one from it. Subtract minus one from it. What do I get? I get 99. And that is the greatest two digit number. Okay? What, is, what we actually doing is just the opposite of what we have done earlier. We were adding one to the highest uh, uh, two digit number or three digit number. And you are getting the smallest uh, two digit number or three digit number. Here what we are doing? We are subtracting one and from the smallest three digit number we are getting the highest two digit number. Okay? Likewise, if we have a thousand here and smallest four digit number and I go minus one from it and getting nine 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 which is the greatest Number. Okay, so we are subtracting one from the smallest four digit number, smallest four digit number, we are getting the greatest three digit number that is 999. Moving on to the next page, we have the four digit number. How to uh, do the four digit number and what to do? Uh, keep in mind when we are writing a four digit number that is what is given it is very well explained by the boxes or the squares that we have if you keep counting them we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 these are what? ones, tens or rather we say 10 ones and what? 10 ones is equal to 1, 10 ok? how can we have explained our maths how we have explained our Arithmetic in your junior classes, in your uh, primary classes, that is your uh, upper prayer one and two, uh, how we knew that, uh, how do we make a 10 number or number 10, we actually go add ones, ones 10 times. So we have ones, again at one, again a one, again a one, again a one, again a one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, 10 plus 1, 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 plus 
method. These cases all now again when we have 10 tens, again when we have 10 tens, it equals to 100. These are the squares that we need to count. Like we have counted here, there are 10 ones, so it gives you 110. There are 10 tens, which gives you 100. Similarly, if there are 10 hundreds, it will give you 1000. Okay? Now, what we need to understand here that these are all have place values. They all have, all these digits, they have place values. Place value. Now, what do we understand by the word place value? So, what does the word place value mean? Place value means, as you know, literally, uh, the word place means where you are. Where is your position? Suppose you are sitting in a class. Where is your position? Where are you sitting? Are you sitting in the second row, third bench? Or you are sitting in the uh, third row, fifth bench? So that is your place value. Alright? So, so what we have? We have first ones, then we have tens, then we have hundreds, and then we have thousand. So if there is a four digit number, suppose there is this number 5368, each number has a particular place to it. Like the last digit, if you start from the right hand side, the right hand side first digit is 8. It is placed in the one column. All these are columns. 